Well, as in any area of medical therapy, you need to look at what, what evidence is there that the particular treatment I'm about to select can help the person in front of me. So um, what, what clinical trial data is there? Is this drug specifically FDA approved for the condition I'm treating? If it's not FDA approved, is it going to be used in an off-label, non-FDA approved manner? Is, that, is there a sufficient data to support its use? Um, if, I, if it's only because of my personal experience with that particular medicine, can I document my own personal experience um, so that it, there's a logical reason why I would use it in a particular person? Cost is an important issue, but just because it's more expensive, it doesn't mean it shouldn't be used, but it, there may be restrictions to access, and um, very often insurance companies will try to force, in my experience, a practitioner to use a less expensive alternative, and that may or may not be appropriate, so that may play a role in, for some people. And safety is important. Um, how safe if you have three medicines which are equally likely to result in 30% pain relief, but one, you have to monitor a person's liver and bone marrow function because it might sour with treatment, and one, you have to worry about gastrointestinal or renal kidney problems, and one, you don't have to do any of those, and they're all accessible to that person, of course you choose the one which is most likely to be safer.